Today we're going to talk about conformable and non-conformable matrices. And what we're going to do is try to apply them to addition, subtraction, and multiplication. When it comes to matrices, we do not divide. That is something we'll talk about in the next video. So stay tuned. What are conformable matrices? Conformable matrices exist when two or more matrices have rows and columns that are suitable for addition, subtraction, or multiplication with each other. So, what are non-conformable matrices? Well, non-conformable matrices are matrices that exist when two or more matrices have rows and columns that are not suitable for addition, subtraction, nor multiplication with each other. Similar to how we look to see if some things are compatible, we have to make sure that matrices are compatible for any operations with each other. So, when are matrices conformable for addition? Matrices are conformable for addition when both the number of rows in each matrix are equal as well as when the number of columns in each matrix are equal. If you look in our example here, you would see that both matrices have two rows and both matrices have three columns. They have the same order. Both of them have the same order. Now, when are matrices conformable for subtraction? Matrices are conformable for subtraction when both the number of rows in each matrix are equal as well as when the number of columns in each matrix are equal. So that means that just like our addition, matrices that are being subtracted need to be of the same order, meaning that they have the same number of rows and same number of columns. So in this case, you can see that we have two rows and three columns for both matrices. So when are matrices conformable for multiplication? Now this one is a very special one. When multiplying matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So as you can see in our example here, the number of columns in the first matrix is 3 and the number of rows in the second matrix is also 3. So as you can see at the bottom when we write the order of the matrix, when we have the two digits in the center being the same thing. So for instance, in this example, we have the two threes next to each other. We know that they are conformable. Subscribe so you can be updated to our latest videos. Remember to share this video or tell your friends. Also like and comment so we can know what to do to improve these videos for you. It's time for us to take our knowledge and try to apply it with what we just learned. It's tutorial time. Question number one. Are the matrices on the right conformable for addition? State a reason why you selected your answer. So yes, these are conformable for addition. This is because we have the same order. Both matrices have two rows and three columns. Question number two. Are the matrices on the right conformable for subtraction? State a reason why you selected your answer. If you said they are conformable, you are correct because both matrices are of the same order. They have two rows and three columns. They both have this in common. Now, multiplication. Do you think that these here are conformable for multiplication? So the first matrix has three columns and the second matrix has three rows. So as you can see, the numbers in the middle are equal to each other. Therefore, they are in fact conformable. So now we have two square matrices. Now are these matrices conformable for addition? Yes, they are. Both of them have two rows and two columns. They both are of the same order. They both are of the same order. 
Question 5. Are these matrices here conformable for subtraction? I guess by now you catch the point. They definitely are. They have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. Both of them are of the same order. This is what we did in our previous video where we talked about the order of a matrix. Number 6. Are the matrices on the right conformable for multiplication? Yes, these are. After we write the order of each matrix, we would realize that the two numbers in the center, meaning the number of columns in the first matrix, is indeed equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Now, if they were different, if these two numbers were different, then we would say that they are not conformable. But in this case, they are conformable. Number 7. Are the matrices on the right conformable for addition? Are we able to add these matrices to get a valid answer? As you can see, we have the same number of rows, but our columns are different. They are of different orders. In order for these to be conformable, they must have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. In other words, they must have the same order. And if you do not know what the order is, you can check out our last video. Question number eight. Are the matrices on the right conformable for subtraction? State a reason why you selected your answer. So as you can see, similar to the addition question, they have different number of columns. They have the same number of rows, but the number of columns are different. Therefore, we cannot subtract these from each other. They are not conformable for subtraction. Now we have our final question, question number nine. So are these matrices conformable for multiplication? No, these are not conformable for multiplication because as you can see here, we have three columns in the first matrix and two rows in the second matrix. They are not equal. In order for us to be able to multiply matrices, they must have those two numbers being equal when we state the order of the matrix. And remember, the order of the matrix must go in the form of rows by columns. Just like how you see we have here two rows by three columns and then two rows by three columns that is what we call the order we have to put it in that format and when we have the two numbers in the middle being equal to each other then they are conformable if not we cannot multiply them all right so that's a wrap hopefully you learned something about conformable and non-conformable matrices and you're ready to actually add subtract and multiply matrices Stay tuned, stay focused, stay consistent, be smart. Remember, this ain't no play man thing.